So I got various of these, uh, these sometimes called charge doctors. So it's basically like a voltmeter, ammeter you can plug into USB. Um, so if I plug this one into a power brick here, you can see that it reads, it's reading the voltage. And if I put something on here that draws current, you'd see the current reading as well. But this one's really annoying me. Um, because this USB connector's not really good. It's got like a big blob of glue under here and normally that this bit's blanked off. So if I look if I show you this one here. So normally you've got a blanked off bit so it's absolutely clear which way up you should plug it in. So there's something wrong with the construction of this. And I've already I've already made some modifications here because I wasn't happy also with the the case the case is got a very dark tint and um, and and the unit itself doesn't produce a huge amount of light so um, so it was, it was quite dim so you can see that I've just I've cut a hole in here so that you could actually see the display through it but I'm going to make a new modification now so I've decided that I'm going to remove this connector and I've bought a bag of replacement connectors um, so I'm going to solder on a new one. It's a little bit tricky if I show you because it's soldered, it's, it's got the four pins soldered obviously but it's also got these two struts at the end that are soldered to the board and you can see they're soldered all the way through here so it's very kind of physically strong and solid and I think to stand a chance of being able to unsolder this probably what I should do is get a, a saw I've got a Dremel somewhere so I could just cut through the steel here so that at least then uh, you know it's not um, I can I can sort of unsolder each pin individually without having to kind of fight with the physical aspects as well. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut through there and then I can start unsoldering the connector and hopefully I should be able to fix this up and make it good. So there we are. That's the first stage done. So I managed to cut through the, the can and prise it off. So it actually came off in two pieces, but that uh, should allow me to get in there or I'll probably break off this bit now actually and then uh, start to desolder these various uh, tags so there we are that came apart fairly easily so there's the old connector so I was able to so I de use the old uh, desolder gun my RS desolder gun from decades ago and was able to remove most of the solder and first of all prise up one pin at one end and then it all sort of came apart relatively straightforwardly so got some new connectors and all I need to do now is uh, fix one of these new ones in the place of the old.
so that's reassembled now let's see what happens okay so that seems to be working all right let's just plug plug something into it so I've got a a uh, flash memory here okay so that's drawing 70 milliamps so when that's reassembled the display is going to sit back down like so and we could put a cable in here let's try and charge up my phone there we go so that's drawing some current about half an amp all right so that's that's good uh, I mean the connector is much better now just plugs in without any struggle so that was a good fix yeah, let's figure out which way around this thing goes There's a button has to stick out the side so Alright, so I'm quite pleased with that. 